When Senator Hiram Revels of Mississippi, the first African American to serve in Congress, toured the United States in 1871, he was introduced as the 15th Amendment in flesh and blood. Indeed, the North Carolina-born preacher personified African American emancipation and enfranchisement. On January 20th, 1870, the Mississippi State Legislature chose Revels to briefly occupy a U.S. Senate seat, previously vacated by Albert Brown when Mississippi seceded from the Union in 1861. As Senator Henry Wilson of Massachusetts escorted Revels to the front of the chamber to take his oath on February 25th, the Atlanta Constitution reported, the crowded galleries rose almost en masse, and each particular neck was stretched to the uttermost to get a view. A curious crowd, colored and white, rushed into the Senate chamber and gazed at the colored senator, some of them congratulating him. A very respectable looking, well-dressed company of colored men and women then came up and took Revels captive and bore him off in glee and triumph. The next day, the Chicago Tribune proudly declared that the first letter with the frank of a Negro was dropped in the Capitol Post Office. But Revel's triumph was short-lived. And when his appointment expired the following year, a leading white Republican and a former Confederate general, James Alcorn, took his place for a full six-year term. <laughs>